What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. As you saw in the title, we have a couple of announcements that are coming up. We are making some big changes to the channel. We will still be sticking to our upload schedule, but we are adding new parts to the channel. One of them is going to highlight you guys actually. So I wanna make sure that the community is getting involved. So let me get into explaining what that is. So there are two new sections that are going to be going on in the channel. Now that we've completed our body work stuff that we did in the gym for warm-ups and stretching and competition and backhands and forehands and all those things, that's out of the way. I want to get something put in that place. So the first thing we're going to add in is a one minute clinic. And that's going to be the short form version of some of the things that I upload on Mondays. So with that, I'm going to be actually answering any and all questions that you guys have in the comments under those videos. And I'm going to do my best to condense everything that I do into one minute clips, which make them easy for you to guys to find, implement and use. So for example, if you were to say, Hey, I'm having trouble with my slice. I'll say, what's going on with the slice? Like, well, my slice keeps landing short. Boom. We've got a one minute video specifically to help your slice not land short. And we'll be answering the questions that you guys ask with that. Second part, we're also going to do one minute wins. And at that point in the video, that's going to be highlighting things that you guys send me as accomplishments. Like, hey, I won my first high school match. I won my college conference. And I want to do little highlight clips of things that you guys are doing in the community. And hopefully it's in some way based off of some of the help that maybe I've given you with any of the videos. So I'm gonna need a big help from you guys in order to make those two parts of the channel grow. So I need you guys commenting in the videos to let me know what you wanna see in the next one and any video submissions that you guys send in, I will put into a highlight reel and I will give one minute highlights as they come in. So we're gonna start with one that was submitted in the videos from before, but after that, everything that you guys are gonna see is gonna be based off of the comments that I see under these videos. So get down in the comment section, let me know what you guys wanna see next. A person commented that they wanted to work on getting their forehand slice to penetrate the court. Every time they go for slices, they tend to get some side spin, they tend to get that ball to land short. So I'm gonna give you guys a couple of things really quickly inside one minute that will help you with getting more penetration on your forehand slice. Let's get into that. So I'm here with Emily, who is gonna be our resident practice partner for today. She is gonna be working on getting more slice penetration on her forehand side. What she's gonna be doing is trying to avoid adding too much spin to the ball because once that happens, the ball bites the court and slows down. My goal for this one is to get her to get the ball to travel through the court, not having a lot of height and getting as much pace on it as we can and then learning to control the action that the ball's having. You ready? All right, let's start the timer. So Emily's first job is to learn the difference between hitting it short on purpose and hitting it deep on purpose. I want you to try to give me all short slices. Perfect. Do that again. Yep. So this is more of a drop shot. And the way she's doing that is by opening up the strings and moving her racket minimal. What I want you to try and do now, move your racket the same amount and see if you can make the ball go further. Yep, that is farther. Again. Uh-huh. Keep it small. Lovely. Now what I want you to do, slice it a lot and see if you can get the ball to land short. Pretty good. Even more slice. Yes, do that one. Awesome. Now try to give me that same feeling and make the ball go really far. That's, that's where we run into the issue. Mm -hmm. So in order to make the ball travel further, that's the one. What we want to do, at, even though you're swinging and getting a lot of spin on it, we want to keep our motion longer. So stay behind the ball as you do it. That's perfect. One more. Done. So in order to create depth on your slice, you need your racket to be moving more horizontal. And in order to create more height on your slice, you need your strings to be open. When you're playing with your slice, it's always gonna be about balancing out how much power you want versus how much spin you want. If you want a deep slice, you need to keep your racket moving this way. And the more you open it, the more spin you get, but obviously the more height you're gonna get. The way you compensate for that is by changing the racket face and changing the racket angle. If I wanna hit more power, but I still need my spin, I'm gonna bring my racket down. If I wanna hit more power and less spin, it's gonna do it this way. 
when you're practicing this, make sure your racket face is the main goal and the main focal point, and then play around with the swing shape. Don't play around with both at the same time. So that's gonna wrap up this one minute clinic. Hopefully you guys understood what we were working on. Just pay attention to what your racket face is doing. If you want more depth, push through. If you want more spin, open up, and then play around with the two at the same time. We'll catch you guys in the next one minute clinic.